slope intercept form of the equation for a linear function. So we're going to look at what's called slope intercept, intercept form of this equation. Here's how we would write slope intercept form. So this is a linear equation. We use the variable m to, um, to represent slope, and we use the variable b to represent y intercept. So remember, slope can be thought of as rise over run, and the y intercept is the, um, where the graph um, crosses the y axis, which is the vertical axis. This is one of the most useful forms of this equation for linear equations. Let's take a look at some numbers in here to see what this will look like. So the graph of a linear function has a slope of 3 fifths and a y-intercept of negative 4. Write the equation. So y equals mx plus b is what the equation looks like. And so if we want to put our numbers in, for slope, we're going to put in 3 fifths. So in place of m, we're going to write 3 fifths. X, now the x goes beside this. It could go with the 3 in the numerator, but it cannot go in the denominator. So think about 3 fifths out front. It's the coefficient. And then plus b, so that's a y-intercept. So plus negative 4, we can just write that as minus 4. So this line has a slope of 3 fifths and a y-intercept of negative 4. And I can tell that always now remembering the equation that the number in front of the x will be slope. And then the last number here, negative 4, is the y-intercept.